it's all good. So today, um, what is it? Well, I know like later today, Matt has, um, he's gonna stay after school a little bit longer because they have a meeting for something about the tryouts, for basketball tryouts. So he's, we're all quite excited that he's trying out for a sport, of course, basketball. Um, I think tryouts are next week and stuff, so they just wanna get them ready and maybe like let them know what's what to come. What's to come? What to come? Ha ha ha. Sunlight. Woo! It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's like those abstract paintings from the 80s. <laughs> I forgot their names. Um, Nagel? Nagel posters? Yeah. Anyway, um, so since he's going to be a little late, then I'm just going to go run. I need to go run. I need to go, not run. <laughs> I need to run an errand for the church. Um, we're running low on paper and uh, we need to, you know, later on find a place to order online again. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to Staples, get paper and some other stuff that we need. I've been putting it off for maybe two weeks now, so yeah. And then um, what do you call it? What else? You know, I, for dinner, like I have all these. I have bought all these meats or pretty much like pork bellies from the Asian the new Asian market that um, we went to we checked out a couple days ago and so I'm gonna do that and I have some veggies that I could cook to go along with it so it's pretty much quick easy dinners and stuff I know it doesn't sound so exciting well but that's just you know the daily stuff that like a stay-at-home mom does we have little errands here and there and a little maybe side gig here on the side a side gig here <laughs> I don't know but oh I do want to do a return actually I do want to do a return at Target so I was watching, you know, this person on Instagram and her outfit looked cute. And so she had a, what is it called? A let me know kind of thing where you click on it and it shows what, where she got her stuff. Well, it was from Target, this outfit, like a jogging suit outfit. And then anyway, so I went, I ordered it and she had put her description on the on the post and I was like oh that's similar to me so I ordered the same size that she did and when I received them in the mail I tried them on and um, well I didn't realize maybe the top was a little cropped <laughs> or it's a little short so I don't like that so I'm gonna go return that and then the pants came and they were big. So I got to go return that. So what I did was I just went online and I ordered, um, you know, a size down. Well, a size up on the top because it's cropped and I don't want it to be short. And then the, um, the pants, I ordered a size down. So, and I don't have the receipts, but you know, good thing if you do have the Target red card, you don't need the receipts because it's on your history like it'll show they'll just pull up your account account and then it shows you know whatever you whatever you purchased and you don't need the receipt and so so that's a um, less hassle for me or for anyone that has a target right card so go get you one <laughs> it's free and you save five percent every time you use your red card in making target purchases and if you do order um, online stuff with Target, it's, there's no shipping fee. So, what is that? Yeah, so there's no shipping fee. <laughs> it's like, beat the light. So, 
So you'll never guess what other things I have to think about at the church office. Come to find out that there's mice in the sanctuary. And I mean, I knew that they were outside on the side of the buildings. Um, like there's a deck where the we had a homeless person um, keeping some stuff there and then just leaving trash behind. So we knew that there were mice or rats um, in that area, but we've never seen um, mice in the church um, as long as I've been there. And I mean, there were signs, but maybe that's from before, like chewed up um, door frames or things like that. And then today, this morning, the pastor comes and tells me that he saw a little one scurry out of his office. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> now, mind you, you know, rats and mice, that is my, that's the biggest, one of my biggest fears. I don't even know why I, cause I know as my dad always tells me, you're bigger than them, but it's just these little rodent things that just, and man, it just takes a lot out of you. After, it's funny, cause I mean, after he told me that, I closed my door, I'm like, oh, just knock when you need to come in, <laughs> or just come in. And, and then I just couldn't focus on, you know, the things I needed to do. Um, because now like every little, maybe little sound I hear, like, is that it? Is that it? You know? So, you know, coincidentally, the, um, the trustee person, she had one of our church members come by to, you know, look around to put, um, traps for the outside. But now he has to, <laughs> he has to go and buy some for the inside now and uh yeah so there's one in the office with a little peanut butter and then there's one or there's two actually in the pastor's office since that's where <laughs> that's where he's it's been spotted the most now i didn't realize that there was a bathroom in the pastor's office so there's a shower there and i think he had mentioned that it ran towards the shower but he also, <laughs> dang dude, but he also didn't want to kind of look in there because it's kind of used just for storage. So anyway, so he put a trap in there and we'll see if something is caught tomorrow. Good thing I'm bringing Katrina with me because she's not scared. She, um she holds it she hold. she doesn't hold them the mouse or the dead mouse or the rat she holds it by the trap and she'll like <laughs> dump it i don't know grandpa grandpa you know make sure that they're not scared or at least she's not scared of those things but yeah tomorrow when i open my office door that's one of the first things to check. Oh boy. And then um, it's funny because the guy that was placing the traps, he was like showing me how to empty the trap. You know, <laughs> you know, inside. I'm not listening. I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna be the one to squeeze the squeeze the trap and drop it. Uh, no. Um, I was like, oh, uh, jokingly said, but in reality, I was like, no, I think I'll ask Pastor to do it for me. <laughs> but Pastor has like one of these claw, claw thingies, so just even the thought of that is just like, mm mm. Whew. Yeah, so that's, uh, 
<laughs> that's what was going on this morning. Ooh. So just like that, I went in and returned the two, the pair, or the set, the jogging uh, suit. <laughs> Do they still call it jogging suit? Jogger suit, whatever. Um, and it's a top and bottom. And I was only, the return, the whole transaction took only two minutes because I just put it in my card. She had to scan the barcodes and tell me that it's gonna go back to my card. And boom, receipt, I'm out. It's so easy, I love it. So it was so easy that that I had time. I mean, if I wanted, I could have, you know, walked around the store to stall, but, um, you know, until, to stall until it was time for me to go pick up Katrina. But I really don't need anything. And again, you know, organizing and purging makes me see what it is that I have a lot of and you know so that that controls most of the time now what I buy so thankfully you know I've been on this cleaning kick or organize organization kick to um, you know slowly make progress in the house uh, you know, but living with like a lot of people, I say a lot, there's like six total in the house, like my family, my little family, and then my parents. And let's just say that it's hard because my, one of my parents, <laughs> um, you know, likes to keep things and you know, it's kind of like you gotta, if I wanna throw away things or purge or donate, things like that, um, this, my parent <laughs> will tell me, oh, you know, just save it. I'll send it to the Philippines in a box. And it's called, you know, it's a Balak buy in box. And then, um, but you know, it costs like 80 something dollars to send this box full of, things that we don't need here but maybe possibly they would like it over there and I said no because there's a box that's been sitting um, in a room for years <laughs> and you know uh, it's no it's just time it's just time to just clear the house get rid of things donate it whatever yeah so anyway so usually and then sometimes when I want to throw things like say in the kitchen um, you know maybe they're like overly um, overly they're expired things I mean I know there's like some stuff where even though it says it's expired at some certain date you can still hold on to it for a little bit longer but there's like other things where you know it'll be stale or what and this person will just, I go, I'll, I'll, I'll eat it. I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't want you to eat old stuff, you know, or the things we have to do to, you know, get things out of the house is to not do it in front of this person. Or we have to hide the bags of donations, you know, and you know, just give excuses of why we can't just put it in the box they want to send to the Philippines. I know. It shouldn't have to be this way, but it's just how it is. And, you know, we're dealing with it. And so we're just going around it. And it's working. <laughs> Frozen yogurt day. But can you believe that these three yogurts is $27? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, how much does it propel these days? <laughs> mm. 
We like mantis because they have um, magic shell. Mm -hmm. What? the mouse problem <laughs> at least this one <laughs> that one back there not so much he's gonna practice um, some basketball drills cuz Monday is tryouts for basketball and this one she's gonna loom and that's fine keeps her fingers moving right? yes I'm yeah. doing volleyball. <laughs> yes. We're excited. She signed up for volleyball. It's um it's what they'll play during um recess time. Yeah. So that's cool. Get them started or get her started. See if she likes it or not. Ta -da. Ta -da. Yeah. But other than that, um, we're going to have a busy weekend. Um, tomorrow, we'll be taking out my cousins from Canada. And, um, you know, I was planning to take them, because one of my cousins, he wants to eat Mexican food every day that he's here. And I looks like he's been doing it. And so I wanted to take him to La Taqueria in San Francisco. But my brother reminded me that... The APEC conference is happening in San Francisco this year. And so traffic is gonna be super bad because they're gonna close down, I know, these two lanes on the Bay Bridge and, you know, other streets within the vicinity of where the conference is gonna be held. So I don't wanna be stuck in that. And so, um, I was thinking of probably going to San, uh, San, Roro, San Jose. I mean, I'm not too familiar with Mexican food in San Jose, but I know that there's a lot. So I asked my brother and he gave me a suggestion. I think it's called La Victoria Taqueria. And then they're also known for some orange sauce. But, um, so I'll take them there and then maybe, just maybe, we'll try the human claw machine. Yeah, and then um, go back and visit my brother at his job. Ooh. All right, talk to you later. Oh, hello. Oh my God. <laughs> this one he won't do. Out of all the places. So we caught the culprit. I Okay. Oh okay. my god, it's so small. Not mine, but yours. Let's go. Let it run. Run it away. <laughs> See ya. What do I want to be ya? Dang, that's stiff already. Lunch at Mod Pizza today. If you guys haven't tried their no name cake, Tastes just like a ding dong, and but, but yeah, but better. And he doesn't like ding dongs. No one. <laughs> so after lunch, we're going shoe shopping because we gotta buy some thin, some new shoes for Maddie since he has basketball tryouts on Monday. I take you. Mexican food. Can I go to Why are these low tops? Where's the high top basketball shoes? So that was a successful trip at the Nike outlet. He got everything he wanted. Now it's Trina's turn. A successful trip at Skechers for this one. Oh, she's happy she's got some waterproof spray for her shoes. 
so she won't get dirty when she goes in the grass. Oh. <gasps> I like the sun setting. Oh, look at you, Mustang. Shapa, shapa.